Welcome, this is a CIS lesson. In this lesson, I will be adding to the SAM tutorial. Um, I want to talk to you about file extensions. This is, in a way, this is a Windows operating system lesson. You'll see that I've logged into a SAM site. I have my student account, and in this case, it's for Word 1. And I want you to see something down here in the uh, grade submission portion of the, uh, the SAM site. It asks you for a particular file with a docx or a .xlsx or .pptx in the name uh, and some of you aren't going to see that in fact most of you won't see that if you're at a home computer when you look at your file it's going to say all this stuff in the beginning underscore your first and last name underscore one or two you're, most of you are not going to see the docx or xlsx or pptx when we get to excel and powerpoint what is that and the purpose of this lesson is to show you what that is and to um, teach you how to make this visible if you want to see it or at least make it uh, explain the, the, the implications of this this part of the name. Um, let me show you what I, I'm going to do. I'm going to get this file. I'm going to download the, uh, the start file. I'll save that to my computer and I'll go to my desktop. So I'm going to pause this and I'll see you on the desktop in just a moment. Okay, I'm on my desktop and I've put this file on my desktop and you can see that it has the .docx right here visible. The, the reason you can see the .docx on this is because I've told Windows I want to see that. And as a computer guy, for me it's helpful, this is called a file extension. And as a computer guy, it's, it's helpful for me to know exactly what kind of file I'm working with, whether it's a .docx, a .doc, .rtf. You know, there are a number of different file extensions. And what Windows does, it creates something called a file a file association. And then based on this extension, it will associate it with a particular program. Um, in this case, since it's a docx, it's been associated with Microsoft Word, and therefore you have this little icon that looks like a Word W up here, and Microsoft Word will open this. If I click on this item, Microsoft Word will open it. That's the file extension. Uh, invoking or turning on Microsoft Word because of the file association. Let me show you how to make this visible on your machine if you want to see it. Um, the way that you do that is through my computer. I'm going to go to the start button, computer, and again I'm using Windows 7 here. If you're using Windows Vista or Windows XP, uh, you do something similar but the, what, what you click on will look a little different. In Windows 7 what you do you go to the Organize button over here, and you go to Folder and Search Options. Brings up this dialog box. Go ahead and close, move this over a little bit. I'm going to go to the View tab, and you'll see on the View tab that I have this box where it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. This is unchecked right now. I made it look like that. On your computer, it probably is checked. By default, Windows usually has that checked like that, so I'm going to apply it and hit OK and hit close that. And now when I look at this, you'll see that the docx is gone. Um, it's, it's not visible. It's not gone, it's just not visible. And the reason I want to show this to you is because it's it's already occurred this semester and it's I should have done this in advance. Um, when you look at the SAM website, and you, it says that it wants a .docx on there, and if you look at your file and you don't see one, it's pretty common for students to add one. So they'll do something like this when they name it. They'll add a .docx because that's what they think it's looking for. Now, in reality, all I've done is I've added a .docx to the name part, but it still has a .docx file extension. So if I go to turn this into the SAM site, it's not going to accept it because in reality what I have here, let me show you what this actually is, go back to the computer again, organize, folder, and search options and view, let me uncheck that box and OK. In reality what that is, it's now at the name of the file .docx .docx and so I, I want you to know I want you, in micro you know in Microsoft Windows what that file extension is. It's basically a 
an indicator telling the computer how to uh, interact with this file. I've removed it. I just renamed it and took the docx. And the way I'm doing it, I'm right clicking, going to rename. That's how I, I did that. Um, so if you would like to see the dot docx for Word documents and dot uh, PPTX for PowerPoint and, and so on for, for Excel, you know, S, XLSX for Excel. What you do is go into that My Computer, Organize, Folder and Search Options and go to the View and then uncheck that box. If you don't want to see it, just realize please that the file extension is still out there and you don't have to add it. And that way when you go to your submission step in, in SAM, um, you're not going to have two of the file extensions on the end. You'll just have the one that the operating system has added. So that's the purpose of this lesson. I hope it was informative for you, and I thank you for your time and attention.